ladies and gentlemen, it's a 2016 May Hemis, and we are narrowing the field of nominees. Uh, and uh, these gentlemen are doing it for us. Thanks, guys. Gentlemen. Thank you for yeah. being here. We appreciate that Somebody's greatly. Somebody's got to do it. Um, Somebody does. We're going to talk about match of the year. Mm -hmm. I know we had a, a lot of great matches this year, a lot of, uh, a lot of contenders. Uh, Plumber? I get what, to start. You get to start. So what I can is, take, what is I your can thought? take the easy road here. Good. Yeah. Um, we were kind of talking off air a little bit, and I'm going to see what we were talking about. Is overall the Survivor Series tournament for the vacant WWE Heavyweight title produced a lot of great matches on live television. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it is it was very predictable, and, and some people don't care about that. To me, though, it's like watching a movie. Uh, you know, the movie can be great, but Every, you think of all the best movies of all time, they have great surprise endings, uh, which we don't seem to get a lot of. But if we put that aside, uh, and you look at that tournament and you look at a pay-per-view, I'm not a big fan of the Survivor Series pay-per-view itself, but i got to go with Owens and Ambrose uh, from the World Heavyweight Title Tournament. I thought it was a phenomenal match. It was an exciting match. Uh, even though you kind of knew which direction they were going, they almost tricked you. Kind of like the Shawn Michaels Undertaker WrestleMania match from the first mm -hmm. time, you know, mm -hmm. uh, where you kind of knew the Undertaker was going to win, but it's like, is he? Is he? Yeah. Um, and to kind of have your predictions, uh, you know, tinkered with a little bit uh, made that match to me uh, really good. Excellent. Chris LaRusso. Um, I thought that there was some, some really phenomenal matches this year as well. The one that stuck out to me, though, was John Cena versus Kevin Owens at the Elimination Chamber. It was Owens first match as a part of the main roster and it was uh, also uh, Owens sort of uh, coming out party for uh, who he was. For the people who didn't know who Kevin Steen was, who maybe didn't know, uh, you know the Ring of Honor, the PWG uh, history, for him to come out against the, the franchise player to go for almost 25 minutes in a back and forth, really, really exciting match, and, and a stunning finish. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think that there was a number of people who could not believe that in his first match that he would get a, uh, a victory and a clean victory over John Cena. Uh, exciting, uh, action-packed, led into, I mean, and the other two matches in that series were fantastic too, but of the three, the one that I thought had the biggest impact, the one that I thought was the absolute best, was the one from Elimination Chamber. Joe Dombrowski? Uh, my mind's eye gravitates to the WrestleMania main event. And Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, I think, gets a little bit overlooked in this category. Um, but that was a very physical encounter. Um, I believe there was some blood involved, uh, inadvertently. Uh, but, but it certainly helped uh, with the drama of the match. And I think that match did more to help Roman Reigns than anything that had, be done, had been done from a creative standpoint three or four months prior. Uh, Brock Lesnar looked like a beast, looked like an animal. He just has that special aura about him where you feel like you're watching you know, something special, something different. And obviously we got the one of the... You know, most surprising moments of the year, Seth Rollins coming out and, and cashing in his briefcase. Um, you know, I, I think the creative direction of, of Roman Reigns before and after this match um, kind of unfortunately understated what that match should have done for Roman Reigns as far as solidifying him and legitimizing him. Um, and I think a lot of that, again, you can go back to the Royal Rumble as far as, as when Roman really got hurt uh, from a, a fan support standpoint. But I look at Brock and Roman as a, a, a masterful way to, to keep Brock strong, to solidify Roman Reigns, and everybody comes out of that match stronger when Seth Rollins comes in and changes the game. Fantastic. Well, folks, head on over to WrestlingMayhemShow.com and cast your votes for the 2016 Mayhemies. The final choice lies with you. Uh, in, in the meantime, if you want to wait, if you want to wait till all these, uh, all these videos are done, hear all these, uh, all these gentlemen's opinions on the matter, stick around because there are more videos to come. Keep your eyes on this YouTube channel.